Hello you two! Are you in for a treat today? Now I'm sure all of you that have been following me for a while now, all of you should know that I have an addiction and a penchant for beautiful, custom, one-of-a-kind, handmade toys. So today I am going to bring you another review video showing off a recent collection of whips that have just come in from the United Kingdom. Over the past year or so, I've taken out several orders from Daz Charlton, or the owner of edgeplay.com and impacttoys.com. And now that I've got all seven pieces of equipment here with me, I thought I'd just make a review video and a thank you video to say what an amazing, amazing, piece of workmanship every single one of them are. So I first started out taking an order for two snake whips. Uh, I picked up three off the shelf snake whips from Daz and even though they were not made as true twins, they are perfectly balanced. They are beautifully made, beautifully hand painted and you can see that Daz really does have an eye for detail the way he's finished off the the knots and finish them off with conchos and even they are off the shelf items but it does not mean that the quality is lacking in any way at all and they both crack beautifully and I have performed with this pair last year in the Philippines at Dark Carnival in October so if you look through my channel you might see a video of me in action with these babies so I was so impressed that I decided to take a couple more orders out from Daz and which has resulted in this massive collection that I have today. and they have two bellies which mean that they are very stiff and hard 
and I prefer a more firmer, pliable wig anyway to perform with. And I picked the forefoot because I often perform in clubs or at indoor venues. So with the forefoot bow wig, you need to have a five foot radius all around minimum to keep my audience safe. So forefoot is pretty much just pushing the limits of performing indoors. And of course, I don't want to take anyone's ear off. <laughs> Don't hesitate to write me. So this is Queen Cobra, signing off for now. 